What's going on guys? It's time to take a look at our updated Heisman race after week six of the college football season. And we do have uh, some significant changes this week. Before we get to this week's top ten, let's take a look at last week's top ten. Uh, and you can see here we had Bryce Love for the first time at number one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you Lamar Jackson and Baker Mayfield have dropped a little bit. Uh, Luke Falk is on the rise. Will Greer has dropped off. Uh, James Washington has dropped off. I uh, don't really have any receivers right now on my top 10. Jalen Samuels is kind of a receiver, running back, tight end. He's kind of everything, uh, but not technically a receiver. But we do have a player that's not a quarterback or a running back. But let's get to it. This this is this week's top 10, and we've got Bryce Love still at number one. He's really running away with the, uh, the rushing crown. He's way ahead of everybody in rushing yards this year. Uh, Luke Falk at all the way up to number two. He's putting up big time numbers. He didn't even hasn't even played every game this year. Uh, at Washington State still undefeated there, looking good after another impressive performance against Oregon. Uh, I think he's a serious contender now. Uh, Saquon Barkley at number three, not putting up you know the rushing numbers that you would expect or that you would you know think that a Heisman contender would put up. But if you look at his all purpose yards, what he does catching the football out of the backfield, the kick returns, the the amazing plays that he makes, I still feel like he is a, you know, one of the top contenders. Lamar Jackson, you know, what's hurting him is the team losing. They've now lost two games, but he's still putting up uh, monster numbers. Mason Rudolph still putting up really good numbers. Rashad Penny, uh, I think he's still the second best running back as far as yards go. Um, Baker Mayfield down to number seven. He is he's about to slip off this list. List if Oklahoma does not step it up. Um, and that should say Oklahoma, not Oklahoma State. I'm not sure. I don't know why I put the state on there. But obviously, Baker Mayfield does not play for Oklahoma State. Uh, Josh Adams at number eight, uh, making his debut on this list. He is, I think he's the fourth best running back right now behind Bryce Love, Saquon Barkley, Rashad Penny. Uh, he is, is uh, and actually somebody suggested this, uh, you know, told me to take a look at him. And I was already had my eyes on him. Um, and as he continues to creep up this list, I think he definitely deserves to be on this list. Uh, Jalen Samuels still there, just a touchdown machine, uh, all-purpose guy, um, just can do it all. He, he does a lot for that NC State team. As long as they continue to win, I think he's going to stay on this list. Um, Brian Finley, the quarterback there, also is very close to being on this list. And then also making his debut is Zach Abbey of Navy. I believe he is... Uh, four, third or fourth on the uh, in rushing right now. He is has he averages more rushing yards per game than Saquon Barkley, and he's doing it from the quarterback position. Navy is undefeated. They play Memphis this weekend. That should be a good game. Uh, but yeah, I think he definitely deserves to be on here right now. And so that's my top ten. A couple of other players that I considered are looking at uh, Josh Rosen of UCLA. He is putting up monster numbers. Um, so I'm still keeping an eye on him. The the interceptions. Are probably hurting him a little bit. I forgot how many interceptions he has thrown, but Luke Falk has only thrown two. Uh, so I really like his efficiency, the way he um, takes care of the football, plus just all the passing yards he's been putting up. Uh, and somebody to keep an eye on um, is Kerryon Johnson of Auburn. He leads the country in touchdowns, and he's really only played, I think, three games this year uh, because he was hurt at the beginning of the year. Uh, and he, you know, if he continues to get the majority of the carries, if, if Cameron Petway doesn't, you know, if he's if he's out or if he doesn't, you know, come in and play uh, as much, Carryon Johnson has a real chance to get on this list. Uh, again, he's number one in touchdowns right now. hasn't even played in every single game, and he's he's climbing up that rushing chart. I mean, he's not, you know, in the top ten or even the top twenty-five. I don't think right now, but I think he will continue to go up that list. And we'll see. That's just somebody to keep an eye on. Uh, there are several other players uh, that we're looking at. There's a receiver from Syracuse uh, that is really good. I can't even remember his name. we got James Washington in Oklahoma State, another receiver. Trace McSorley at Penn State uh, because he brings you the running and throwing ability. Uh, so he is right there on the outside. So there are a lot of players that I'm looking at just because you don't see them here on this top 10. But I could easily do a top 25. Um, but I think you just need to keep it down to 10. If if I had to, man, I don't know. I was going to say who would get invited to New York if the season ended today. Uh, and that's tough because really I still feel like all 10 of these players are pretty close. I don't think that anybody has really separated themselves. Um, 
even Bryce Love, I know he separated himself as far as the rushing yards go, uh, but they've actually played an extra game. So I think he still would lead if you were looked at his average yards per game. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. It, it, it would be tough to say. I think all 10 of these guys uh, are serious contenders for the Heisman. And again, there's a few other players that I think could creep onto this list before the season is over and maybe even win it. I'm not saying that the winner is on this top 10, but I do think that that's probably the case. Uh, I do think that you're probably going to see the winner come off this list. Josh Rosen, I think, has a really good shot, uh, even though he's not on this list. If he continues to put up the big numbers and UCLA you know, can get on a winning streak, finish the year off, you know, beating U- USC, maybe even winning the South, maybe winning the Pac-12 championship. It seems like a far stretch right now, but it could happen. Uh, Nick Chubb of Georgia, another guy uh, that is creeping up on that rush rushing list. So, yeah, there are a ton of players still in consideration. We'll start narrowing this down once we get a little further into the season. Um, once I have a clear-cut top five, top six, top seven, whatever I have, uh, I will actually start lowering this list down to those players, the players that I think – I have a real shot to win it. But as of now, again, there are still tons of players that have a chance. And so we'll see how it plays out the rest of the year. But go ahead and leave a comment down below with your thoughts on the Heisman race. What do you think about these 10 players? Is there a player that I haven't mentioned in this video that you think should be on this list? I always like hearing from all of you. Uh, but that's going to do it for this video. Later on today, we'll have our pick on video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more here on the SG1 Sports YouTube channel.